like Granny Smith apples, Abby. I do. My favorite kind of apple. Mine too. They're the best. They're so tart. They're so crispy. I don't want one of those nasty ass mushy yellow ones. You know what I mean? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. Honestly, I feel like it's strawberries for me. Strawberries for me. Oh, yeah. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. Honestly, I feel like it's strawberries for me. Strawberries for me. Oh, yeah. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. Honestly, I feel like it's strawberries for me. Strawberries for me. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. Honestly, I feel like it's strawberries for me. Strawberries for me. Oh, yeah. Strawberries. I feel like a whole other kind of berry. They're very versatile as well. Yes. Strawberries. I feel like a whole other kind of berry. Yes. Yeah. Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. Honestly, I feel like it's... Strawberries for me. Hello, gamers. Strawberries. For I uh, oh, yeah. my game didn't save last night. Let me real. We're gonna speed run it this morning. Blackberries and strawberries. By morning, I mean afternoon. Honestly, I feel but like it's you're gonna hear the game play for me because strawberries for me. Yippee! Thank you, Yajits. I know Yippee. that the audio probably didn't play. I'm gonna make sure it played for you. Um. Anyway. We're gonna do a quick speed run of the game. I guess I can just pop over to the old face cam. Ooh, nice and zoomed in today. Very shiny. Anyway, feeling it very actually am. Yeah. I took a day quill yesterday, I scrubbed my floors, and I took it easy. And I still feel like a residual, like, almost congested. But I don't feel congested. I worked out this morning. Like, I truly feel fine. That's great. I haven't seen me stream for a while. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I was on, like, a family trip. And it was fun, and it went well. So, thank you for y'all's patience. But, yeah. Nice. Nice getting out of town, you know? Getting away from life's stresses. Hope I had a great trip. I did. I did. I went to the East Coast. Went to Carolinas you're familiar. <sighs> anyway, the audio is so dramatic. So freaking dramatic. Also, for some reason, my OBS has decided to rearrange everything, uh, which I did not appreciate. It, like, updated and then is being crazy. And I would like it to not be like this. Trying to... I'm trying to find a new tab. Let's see. Boom. How's it look? Exactly the same? What the heck? Alright, well. That's annoying. Woo, Hunter! Howdy indeed. Which also updated the mod view, and I don't appreciate it. Yeah, they must be everybody's changing shit, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyway, shall we hop into the game? I'm going to keep the face cam off, ignoring my cool giant bomb shirt. We love giant bomb around here. Um, I have to keep my face cam off because I'm also in shorts. You can see my knees there because I sit like a goblet. Look how fun these shorts are. I feel like a boxer. I'm going to stand on a spinning chair. Wish me luck. See how pink my legs are from resting on the desk? Pale knees, pale knees, pale knees. Anyway, is that fun for everyone? Is that fun? Oh, it was good working out. I definitely don't have the energy up completely from my surgery. But getting better. This music is so dramatic. Uh, anyway. Any baby faces in those knees? No, I don't think so. Start to get old lady knees, you know what I mean? Hit 30 and everything starts to sag. I uh, was hanging out with a toddler last week. And toddlers love to spin, 
So I was spinning them occasionally. And I was like instantly like fall over dizzy. And I'm like, no, this is a sign of being old. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. My wife and I are looking at bikes today. Nice. Well, that's great. I love biking. I used to love biking all over the city. When I lived in Boston, I biked everywhere. I have a cool bike. I love it. I haven't ridden it in forever. I'm going to sell it, actually. Yeah. Can I tell you all I'm also getting into crystals? I'm like, I like crystals because they look cool. Man, I remember thinking 30 was old. Look, I know 30's not old. I know I'm very young. I'm goofing here. Um, but... I have noticed changes in my body that are only there because of age. Um, anyway, here's a crystal. This is like a pyrite or something. This was a help with money. Give me more money. This is a crystal that makes other crystals more powerful, which is why I put it by the money crystal. And I also have this crystal, which I don't know what it is, but it's pink and kind of rainbowy and pretty. This was a help with hope and optimism. We're all by the more powerful crystal. Good things to have. Anyway, I'm in LA, so I'm like, might as well become a crystal girly. And also, it's fun. It's hard to find art, affordable art, that can like sit on a shelf. And I think crystals look cool and are fun. What do powerful crystals do? It's kind of, it's like placebo. I think a lot of what it is, is it's like, I look at the money crystal and I'm like, yes. I'm now thinking about applying to jobs and seeing what I can do to get a job. You know, love my lip color. Thank you. I'll show you what it is. I'm really just feeling like a chatty mood before we get started. So one second. This fresh sugar lip treatment. I like it because it's kind of like a balm. Kind of like a balm. Hello, Keys Peep. Daddy me. Um, but anyway, I like mystical objects that look nice when when exactly, they're fun. You know, it's kind of like tarot cards where I don't think tarot cards are necessarily predicting all that much. I think you see what you want to see in them, but I think it's still kind of a nice therapeutic tool to like think through or potentially talk through what you're worried about, sort of how I see it. Anyway, it's this fresh. I do actually quite like it. Sugar treatment. And this is the color coral. 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 Um, I like a red tint. That feels like chapstick, you know? I'm, I'm here for the simplicity these days. You know? I also put on sunblock, and I feel like it makes me look so shiny right after I put it on, which I don't enjoy. But c'est la vie. Anyway, I'm also drinking Coca-Cola from my Play Go Head mug and water. From a yellow plastic cup um anyway let's hop in here i figure we're gonna speed run okay shh. um i don't remember what i chose last night last time i'm gonna say keep on not existing what an x something no i want to know about the x um what to get off um i do Okay. Wait, did I do this to myself? Okay, I don't- I feel like it's getting different now. Um... What's waiting for me? Okay, yeah, yeah. How big's the ball? How small are the apes? Don't- duking it out. That's sad. Ground? Okay, open your eyes. Alright. Speed, run, speed, run. Got retinol cream from Trader Joe's. Nice. I've been doing retinol too. It does feel like you're really doing it. I like skincare. It feels good to take care of yourself. Where did I get this mug? It's actually a gift from my father. I'm guessing got it from the Lego store online. Is my guess. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish them out. Okay, great. Hurry up. Okay, got this whole thing with the tie. Um, I pull the fan. Grab the tie. What? Oh God.
That was different than last time. Having a heart attack. Can I not get my tie now? Okay, bring it on. I'm ready to just kill myself this run. Is there no game audio? Oh, sorry. Did I... I forgot to unmute the game. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. Um, anyway. I'm having a heart attack. I can't have the tie? I wanted to start again. I'm pissed if I don't get this tie. Double cleanse, toner, serums, exfoliant, retinol, moisturizer. Wow. I don't know everything. I just try to do sulfate-free stuff. I have these Korean exfoliating washcloths that I use for the whole body, face included, in the shower. Um, I love L to MD. That's my go-to. A mirror hangs above hot waters. Suddenly, you realize you have no so memory really of the face right that awaits you stuff. there. Underneath the soft face. Here, but so dank. Let's say... Oh, I As you see a board, you clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, um, and you will never unbecome it. Okay. Behold. Come here. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? It's Too late. late. Stage alcoholic. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is um, that an expression? Please stop. It's horrible. Try to stop. Oh, my God. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Um, there okay. might have been, ten years ago. It's little more than a cadaverous spasm now. Do a low. It belongs in the new. The th okay. things were good. It was smooth sailing. Pe Forever okay, shall. If it doesn't so. rhyme, you're not pronounced. Out of the sure dazzling I'm swirl right. of disco Can't music. Say, so in an open the air. Oh what did we? Somewhere in a Revachol West, Guillaume's um, blonde mane, some twenty-odd year, so everyone it? loved it. Maybe you thought some Anything of the else? stardust would rub Why You have some understanding of the net. It doesn't have now. to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile okay, whenever you want this. to. Maybe some of the- It's too late. Like an image on film. Okay. Um, let's think. Internalize. We're internalizing. All right. Is it impossible to get the tie now? Is it just done forever? Can I come back for it with a tool or no? This fan has two. Or has it been? The switch must be broken because nothing happens. Mm. The air in the room. Mixtape club, yeah! What if all this fun writing dialogue choice had a great turn-based combat system to mix things up? You mean like... The window in, stands broken in its frame. It's called? Cold wind. The shards face okay, out. A fine web. It. More likely a projectile than a hell dog. It's it is too... Good. Like the green... Congratulations. You smashed the cold wind. Okay, did I... Did I get my shirt? I did. That would ruin this game. Yeah. Not everything can be Baldur's Gate. This feels like not the right vibe. The whole vibe is that it's a story. You know what I mean? Excuse me, everyone. I'm sneezing. I am a cop and I must sneeze. There they both are. And I'm Cheap not. Like two baby are they Good. Fit? The... Anyway. Oh, I didn't get my shirt. Okay, we gotta get the shirt too. Another shot of the white checks if you fill them. If you put a point in the corresponding skill. Okay, good to know. We'll come back for you, Mr. Ty. Don't you worry about it, alright? So, this. I need. Savoir faire, I think. This fan has two chain or has it been consigned there yeah. as punishment? You feel right. as though this creep 
Can I save? Okay, I can't. Dialogue. Okay. I, like, cleared out space in my computer while I was playing yesterday, but the game, I think, didn't figure it out. Didn't want to realize it for me. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm a shirt. Hey, Mario, it's Hello, Tadlar with me. Okay. I'll crank it a little bit lower. Hello. The young woman raises officer? a cigarette to her lips. Uh, no. There's only one solution to this. Why, you because you're officer? a police officer, sir. I am, sure? yes. Old You've been here for three. Couldn't Business? say. In truth, so far, Ugh. mostly drinking. Um, being a cop. I of go course. Now. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. All right. She looks back at you. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh yeah, the shining wallpaper is good. Oops. Okay. I wonder, can I knock on this person's door? Knock, knock. Trying to open it like a creep. Okay. okay. The newspaper. Let's go downstairs. I think this time we won't go towards the strikers. We'll try a different route. Why are you adjusting a tie? You don't have one! Okay, lyrics. I'm not gonna bother with this guy quite yet. As. You should totally sing karaoke here. Um, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. Modest, People need to know your side. vast ocean. Exactly. It's measured through a PA system by other people. Did I sing? You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation. That Serves them right. Good. You have to find that something sure tragic to sing okay. first, though. Right, I'll leave y'all to it. Let me just look here. Looking, thinking, looking, taking, looking, thinking. Looking. Talk to my officer friend. Talk to you later, lady. You were helpful last time. What's up, dude? A bespeckled man in an orange bump. As you, if an assault were launched on this building right uh, now, hello. You realize this is your chance to come up with a really good name um, for yourself. Get creative. Name. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be Deep Gold. Um, I don't really okay, know my name. Okay, Dad. It looks like we... What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days. But uh, you have been... Say, no, I other. haven't. Then we should ask him for a rundown. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Mapped have you mapped out the initial I interview? I have not. Okay. We'll have time for that. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Uh, I'm gonna say, I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take... No. So... The this is the first time you detect where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Alright, let's keep going then. After you, if you're about to embark on an... In you mean you don't have a badge? Uh, was that Losing your identity. Lieutenant, get... Alright, we gotta get our badge up we'll talk to you. Hello, sweetie. Hello, ma'am. Who's sweetie? I mean, you like me? You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw but dear you're not for me i'm too old and too you must forgive me i'm getting i'm lena my husband morel and i are staying with our friend gary just down the street but i come here for tea when they're away this okay. lena is wacky enough um, for the monkey crew. hire her on the spot i don't know if you've noticed but oh i don't know yes anything. officer you look rather dazed like a stunned fox. 
But surely things can't be that bad. Okay, I hope you're right. I hope it's not too bad. You know where we are, right? Uh, so they got That's my keys. Right. And where is the world? Indeed. We are in the fine uh, city of Revishol. It's really cool in the 30s. But no, much has changed. Speaking of history, that's my dear. Her relief is palpable. She I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask uh, one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? I'd like to think dictatorship of the proletariat, but something tells me it's not. Proletariat's like the people, right? Um, I say democracy, maybe. No, nope. sadly. Meaning, buying is voting. Um, how come they're called? Oh dear, but we should. She's scared now. She's um, realized you really are a uh, defeat. I'm afraid. The people it has something. I'm just a poor woman. She thinks. How do you I do? do a sigh. But. Maybe. She means this. Okay, Some tell me more. more. No. Of course. Then I don't know. Right, gotta get going of now. course, dear. Military is working class. I think that's what I thought. It's stuck. Oh, good. It's auto saving for me. That's what I like to see. Knock it off. the counter yeah. rolled out of his um, open hand you see a blister pack of headache medicine the man pills. you've just picked up some ma no idea possibly because okay. there's a strike going on in the harbor he gently okay. shake his shoulder this is annoying i woke him up last time all right well it's a different kind of run okay but nothing can be perfect twice because you know the game actually works and it's sort of random a man in the could he be yeah. irritated with Mr. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. Uh, I'm going to say I'm currently in between names. Fantastic. Right. Something. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at this. No, I only just got. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. You said you just got here. What, of Martinez? But you still know your way around. Yes, I know where some things are. I didn't imply that. Detective. Uh, yes? I have everything. You? Um, uh, ask Yes, yes, he means, do you have- He thinks you're stupid, sire. Although I'm kind of tempted to say no and not have to owe this man money. I know that's not really how it works, but... Um... Why did Sylvie she go went away? away because none have they not been telling you you're a cop? Extra right. fine. Um, you know what? I like a little challenge. Let's get some money. Why What's would your I have a me? problem with you? You're a hero cop. Am I? Fantastic. Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? You're right. He didn't. No, um, I haven't seen you around. I just got here. No, bartender? I'm not the. He's very animated all of a sudden. This is clearly a touchy subject for him. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias I manage. Three. Get over it. Exactly Behind this body. building, there's... That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry Ooh, to fit through. Oh, pickling. Fun. Does he want you to feel guilty of making that hole? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Another the question. lieutenant turns the page in the... Let's go. Okay. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Um, Whoop away on notice. Say what's oh, real. Excuse the IIR or... Into Isolary. Oh, wow, you money. you're a genius. Yes, that's right. Money. You owe the system. What do I Let's owe see. For? Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. Is what money. are you? A philosopher? Just getting my money bearings. is what grown up people use to pay for things. Yes, it is. No, you see, that's 40 cents. Cents are a form of currency 100 times. Okay. The cafeteria, isn't it? 
Um... Eva, the order of magnitude between what is asked of a person and what there's a shuffle of nylon as loot that's cop for. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money. I'm sorry, so. but he has to pay. Officer, maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, um, right? It's not that far away. I don't remember where my home is. Officer. Good luck. I think on it. Before I thought I could think on where my home was. Just not this time. Because I don't have a freaking tie. By the way, where is her? I really but don't you've remember. Been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? Uh, Why did Marvel you say that? Hill. No. You know Marvel Hill and expression That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you um, run out of money. You can try. Okay. Thinking on it. Infernal eyes. Okay. Gotta find the hole in the fence. We leave and turn right. I smoke salmon from salmon from Albies. Thanks. I love salmon. Blue tinted ball Oh, here's Okay, I wanna to talk to what's her face. He's got gloves for me. Okay. Neil. in Martinez. Uh, what can I help you? We don't see a lot of police. Or... Of course. Some questions. What can I help you with? Um, who are Me? you? I am just a gardener. Cool. What are you doing? I am working. I have agreed. There's discomfort. She stops mid-sentence. What? Well, as you probably know, there's a cops. Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean. Mm -hmm. Thank um... you. Okay. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. Where do I get her gloves? Of course. Where to? Uh, where what am I? What do you mean? Sorry, yes, I'm sir. Sure. District of Martinez. He knows where we are. He just wants directions. Uh, what's There's up the north? pier, the, the harbor beast. gates, south. some shops and a bridge just but coast. It's, west. it's just water. Corpse. It's there. In the yard, right through the hole in the fence. Thanks. No problem. I got her gloves last Excuse time. Excuse me? She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this look. Anyway. She shifts in her seat awkwardly. Of Got course. I won't hold oh. you back. Okay, I guess that's her gloves. Do. You get the feeling that you need... Gloves. Sure. Keep them. Thanks. Where did I get this pen? I got gloves. Look at that pen. Right? Why did I get this pen? <laughs> hmm. Fascinating. But okay. This is good. Brown ribbon. All right, I remember this kid hurt my feelings last time. Kuno's got this. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is. Oh yeah, not a comfy Kuno. Uh, what are you trying, please? Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Yeah, Kuno, ride the lot! Kuno's riding it, see? The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? 
Kuno's not a gardener. Uh, All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you uh, got, huh? She the body. Pig. What's your question? Why did I restart the game? It didn't save. So, that's why. So we're just going down this path first, and then we'll go back to the union. I feel like we're kind of almost caught up, all things considered. Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno! Uh, Pig's choking! He's totally choking! If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there. The usual being. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? You know or... who he was. Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Kuno knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make Kuno sing into the popo phone. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. I don't know. Some fucking mesk or, or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Fictional city name. Night City doesn't exist. Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? You haven't been where Kuno's been. You, you wanna know where Kuno was? You wanna know what Kuno's been fucking up to? Don't tell him that, Kuno! It's lame! It's not fucking lame! Kuno's building, Kuno's city, Night City, Rage City, the city of rage! That's it, and it's not lame! Lame! That's the name of Kuno's city, bitch! Get the fuck off Kuno's back! This shit ain't about that! And you seen anyone suspicious around? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty f Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno! Looks like you're a faggoty now. Whatever that means. The suspicious question doesn't really work in antagonistic situations. Alright. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost, f Uh... He's up and play in this right, yard? Pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. Fuck do you want with it? Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Well, Kuno I'm off. Kuno doesn't fucking care. It sucks. Out of it myself. Dirt. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Heavy workers boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Not it. Okay, visual Achilles. Maybe more than 12. No, eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Go over them one by one. One, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 46. Two, standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes, number 44. Three, hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes, number four. Standard work boot, number 45 or 46. You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. Five, another standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes, number 44. Six, an aberration, light as air. Even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gate is undeveloped. You sound pretty good at this again, ain't I? Confidence in You're me. not bad. It's as if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it. And the tracks burn in the middle of it. In a strange, beautiful way. Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot, number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Eight, and yet another standard work boot, number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The right sole is smoother, more worn. Do they have like a limp? Humming. 
They ate. I was pretty off then. I can't eat 20. I say, same guys are going back and forth. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Um. They. Right step 41. A shit. woman or a kid? I don't think there's any way to be sure. Understood. Anything else? Heavy one. Two. Although it said they were undeveloped. She was it a kid? Oops. Heavy one. Two kilogram. Two hundred? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? But yeah. Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. He might be right. Two hundred kilograms of living weight is unlikely. One of them was carrying a motor. Possibly, yes. Aberration. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at oh, the harbor. Sure. Or maybe a drummer? Oh, interesting. He regrets it the moment he says it. Just not. I don't know why I said that. We are not looking for a drummer. We are looking for hey, a group of dog know. workers. Hello, Alithium. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator oh, yeah. is on the right. Not thought we should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems. Mm -hmm. How old do you think the tracks a are? A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashon. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last one day. Correct again. Sub zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. Hey, what do you think happened? Here? What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They mm -hmm. all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Oh. Good work, team. What we got? Herbs of the greenhouse. I'm gonna inspect everything. Inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eaten night. What is that? It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. It's nothing. Someone oh, well, just left some, some roofing material slanted because it's nice and orderly. Well, like rhythmic pattern calms your mind. Mammals like this stuff. No, there's more to this. You get this That's strain. Feeling. Hard to say. It's gone now. Feelings pass. Feeling is this the door or something? I don't know. Alrighty. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Um, is that? Why is it Active so bad? decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cock's gonna blow, Kuno! Did I try not to throw up? I feel like very check. It's a white check mirror. 
Just turn away. Put the body down. Okay, maybe I have to try to not throw up. There, he still is, looking right through you. Um, but if I throw up, we're just living with there, it, all right? He still is, looking right. Do we do a prediction? With his white What's the eyes, over under the that body he throws below up? is entirely pretty likely to that corpse <sighs> smell. Emitting it is all it does. But there's know. always a chance. There's always a chance. Right, I'm gonna. I'll go talk to this kid. I want a prediction of whether I'm gonna yak. You know the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pigs come to take me in. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? Child, converse with me. Murder was the case, was the case they gave me. Okay. Oh, that was very useful. Okay, I assume the prediction is done. Let us go vomit in front of the corpse. Just for kids, wouldn't hold the weight of growth. There, okay, no. he still is, looking. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you have expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Trying to walk away? Oh. All right, we're yakking. All right, that was gross. Oh, God. Too late. Know? It's impossible to keep him. Your body curls and pushes it out. Now we know. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet. Okay. And your throat stings from the stomach acid. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Happens to everyone. Keep it. Thanks. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Where do we get ammonia from? That young woman, the gardener, mentioned she used salts yeah. for the smell. If she doesn't have any, there might be some in the fridge store nearby. Great. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Thank you, robot lady. Very helpful. All right, well, moving right along. I'm enjoying this game. Oh no, <laughs> Yeah, that was gross. No one had faith in my fortitude. You know what? That's fair. I figured if we did get it, it'd be one big winner. You know what I mean? Love this rain noise. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Key melody starts playing after you ring. Kuno, please stop calling here. Grown ups don't have time for your stupid game. She thinks you're the gremlin child. What would he say to this? Um. Hmm. I'd do a cute Kuno impression. I'd rather do this is the police. Please open. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I thought you were. A single beep indicates that the line has gone dead. Okay, well. You yeah. ring the doorbell. What an ominous name for a hair salon. Doesn't bode well for anyone's hair. All you hear is static. You ring the doorbell, but nothing happens. You wait for a minute or two, but all you looks like someone has melted. You hear static from the intercom speaker. It sounds as if someone has picked up the receiver. Yes, hello. This is Tricentennial Electric. Oh. Have you come to place an order? She sounds almost antique. As if her voice was being played off an old wax cylinder. A receiver must not be working properly. Hmm. Like, why? I like that it says in parentheses, why? Because it's not always clear to me when I'm lying. In these games, I mean, uh, which one did I hit? 
It's going to clipstream Stream SCA. Oh my god. The lieutenant exchanges a look with you. All right. It's you. Oh my god. I didn't think I would hear your voice. Oh, I'm like having a hallucination. Who cares that you don't remember her? Just go along with it. No, something's wrong here. Are you sure she's talking to you? Who are you? Where are you? Michelle, just please. Hmm. Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. Of course I care. I've just been going through a tough time. We're having a little breakdown here. Since I came okay. to the area, different. As if my mind's been wiped clean. A spot of static overrides her words. When she speaks again, it sounds like she's submerged. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally speak again. You know what? She sounds like she's about to cry. Hello? She doesn't answer. The nice about forgetting. Silence. The only thing you can hear now is static and waves washing ashore on the bay. Another seagull passes by. I don't know what happened either. We should probably stop playing with this thing. Alright, goodbye then. You press the number sign on the keypad that terminates the call. Twelve name cards on the call box read. Oh. Silence. Silence. Nothing happens after silence. No again? one answers your call. This button looks new, but someone has removed. Huh. This button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. You hear the same waiting room. Description of EQ now. <laughs> You can pick them up if you got a bag. I need to get a bag. Money. Oh. Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Hi. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Um, give it. Well, what kind of store is it? It's a bookstore, anyway? sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses, little girl. Um, don't be ridiculous. I know I'll be safe. You're fooling nobody. Don't you sass me. Sir, are you okay? You've hey, been man, okay, sir. Question. I'll try to answer any questions you have. My name, name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside, minding the register, or organising the stock. Okay. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. Getting out here because I'm signaling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the. A sudden gush of wind turns the pages of the books on the counters. She covers her face, smiling, but she's cold. Um, can I help in some Kind way? of you to offer, sir. What could you do to help her anyway? Oh, we're the store owner, oh maybe? no, no, sir. I'm happy to help Mum by luring in customers. Besides, I have some hot juice in my vacuum bottle to keep warm. It's cool. I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mum keep this place running. Uh, is this school more important? Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. Mum says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Behind her, the window has been boarded up. You sense the boards creaking, twisting for a second, and some kind of doubt in her tense shoulders. Uh, in what way? Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Well, they run out of money and have to stop doing business. Um, I don't think curses are They real. shouldn't be, but they seem real. Anyhow, they say that these grounds are doomed for businesses. Um... I don't know, I guess your mother could learn. Of course, sir. Um... 
Yeah, that's fair. Uh, what is this crime business? Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that. Yeah, and the work it. of a policeman or a people private going. detective who's trying to solve a crime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a puzzle, too. You I'm can guess who the myself, criminal by is the way. or how the good guys are going to catch him. You don't look much like a policeman. There was a couple of questions. Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. Um... Uh... Another More question. about books, maybe? I need romance for famous people. I'm gonna say, okay, bye. See you around, Annette. Uh, I'm gonna check in on your mother. Good man, it's gonna be flames. I need to get a romance book, man. About the I think. Try to even read the author's name. Okay. I don't know if it's like a joke or something else. Alright, bye. Bye, Mark Rojas. Catch you around. Hello. Welcome to Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. My name is Plaisance. Be welcome, and please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space. Are you the owner of the store? I am! The proudest owner of our little shop of culture. Your daughter's the one seeing us at the store, right? Annette, yes. My daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science fiction. Tell me, was she at her post doing her job like a proper girl? Yes, of course. Wonderful! Did you talk to her? Yes. Great! On a scale of 1 to 10, how compelled were you to buy books after talking with her? Her opinion of her daughter depends on how well she lured you into the store. Um, I'm a great human being, I don't do Come that. Come now, it's not personal. It's about proper sales practices and market research. I expect an answer. Fine, ten. My precious, her dedication brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as my Annette. The way you're handling her strikes me as wrong. Mind your own business, sir. In our society, people don't get to tell each other how to raise their children. It's none of your or anyone's business. You're just mental the free market in Russia. I'm just gonna say, let's change. The woman before you scans the store, her shoulders rigid and tense. Every now and then, she nudges her glasses. Attention displays cursed. Cursed? Who said that? Annette? I will have a word with her. This place is not cursed. It has a robustly magnetic energy good for commercial activity my business is thriving sir what in god's name is she talking about doesn't feel like it's thriving feels ghostly then why are you talking to me everything is on the shelves to browse don't you feel compelled to buy anything see those shelves there go be drawn everything is on the shelves take a look yourself She's attempting to mentally direct you towards the shelves. She only wants you to buy the goods. She doesn't care about the books. Do you even know what books you have for sale? Truth be told, not really. My sister brings in most of the goods. I'm sure it's all very literary stuff with well-written prose. But you don't learn about the important things in life from fabricated stories. Where do you learn about the important the things? The truth then? is available if you just know where to look. And you have to open and free your mind to understand. She Please smiles and nods. Fair now, farewell for now, book peddler. How's the save going? A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by Wirral related merchandise. An endless variety of source books, lore books, and codices litter the table. The topmost book is titled Welkin Compendium, second edition. There's also a large hardbound tome with intricate cover art, The Hunters of Catawack, Boreal Creature Compendium, and a Pick Your Path adventure game book titled Tales of Wirral, Cavern of Velcrag. Books in a board game section? Who wants to read books? Um... Anything that catches my eye? There's a box that says, Wirral, 
third edition mega setting supplements module. Yeah, worth no money. The side panel notes a fantastic adventure board game, new maps and miniatures. A sticker on it displays 25 real. Right, well, can't afford it. We're going up top. Check out the back room. Lots of stuff to collect out of here. And yeah, there's lots of this. This bookstore is not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. Look for Help, these. Sir, please, no browsing in that shelf. That wisdom is not for free. I can't have you end up, like, opening a police store next door and stealing my customers. Oh, no. Amidst the various books, you find one written by someone named Matthias W. Dundas. It's about wholeness, unity, balance. These three things are very important to the working class mind. The point of the book, and many others on this shelf, is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access to paid health services. It serves platitudes, while also telling everyone that traditional medicine, the kind people don't have access to, and which costs more than this book, is garbage, and would only give you cancer anyway. I'm without invisible. even curing your cold or anything. You said, don't want to block the text off. Wholeness, unity, balance, on the other hand, can basically take care of anything. Though it is important to note, when it's up to your mind to heal yourself, then it's because of your mind that you're ill in the first place. Looks like anything the else? book features chapters on topics such as how to find magnesium, it even lists plants you can harvest hmm. magnesium from. How to continue drinking if you're an alcoholic oh, who has destroyed healthy. his liver. And there's even a chapter on the ancient Serais tradition of using duck gall bladder preservatives to treat and prevent sexually transmitted diseases. Pre and post factum apply. Nothing worth buying. This is just mundane garbage. What's even paranatural about this? How do we like it after taking another look? I mean, I'm still pretty early in. I don't dislike it. I find it a little too verbose for me. I don't love the writing, I think, as much as someone else or some other people do. I also do think it encourages... I don't know. It's got a lot of stuff that's just, like, grimy in a way I don't like. And it's like, I don't need to roleplay being a sexist or a racist. Uh, and I think there's a lot in the game that sort of encourages you to sort of go those aspects. I know that you're punished for it, but... Sort of like when you look up the skirt in like near whatever and then she like bats the camera away. It's like, well, the game still put that in there. You know, that's still encouraging you to do it. Anyway. Plus one, heard about the curse. Minus one, don't believe in curses. All right. I guess I did say I don't believe in curses. Well, let's find something truly out otherworldly. You sense something oh. ominous emanating from the shelf, but it lacks form and substance. And soon enough, you lose track of it. Well, goodbye. The plaque on the shelf reads, Biographies of Famous People. You see a large variety of names, none of which ring a bell. Mm. Tried a few times, yeah. It's, the beginning is a little of a slog from what people say, but I'm not, not enjoying it. The voiceover helps a lot, for me at least. Um... Anything on I this would show? say the greatest innocence. Yes, most certainly. It's an important educational tool delving into the depths of history, religion, and their relation to innocentic power. A very influential historical figure. But surely I don't have to tell you that. You're a law officer, and law officers have at least some education. The book is also very daring. The author aims to re-examine the universal understandings of the innocentic system, creating a fresh vantage point and a shift in the tired order of things. Um. Perhaps for a layman, deep analysis is necessary to peel back the multi-layered meanings. Do her words seem vague and abstract to you? Certainly. 
It's prudent for a person to have at least an elementary understanding of history and society. You feel like you should get this one. Definitely. It's important somehow. There's something personal inside. Well, I can't afford it, so... Browsing through all the books with all their names makes your head spin. None of these seem important or relevant. It's all just vapid egoism. Game makes you think about race and doesn't, definitely doesn't want you to be racist. Suddenly, a particularly I, I odd title you. catches your eye. I need it to play reads, more of it, I think, High to Speed Love, the treasure true love that. story of Jacob Irv and Alfie Delatraz by one Cecilia Averbrook. I would say that it... I don't know. What I've seen of how they handle racism seems pretty good. What I've seen of how they handle women and sexism has been a lot of, like, you're horny for every woman there. You know I what speed I mean? love chronicles Which the doesn't romance necessarily feel like it's saying anything all that interesting, even when they're like, you're a dick for doing history. this. One of them is the madcap driver, Jacob Irv. His blonde mane graces the cover. Next to Irv's life story, again, you see a slim biography earlier? of an occidental rock star called The Anti-Star. He's famous for shooting morphine into one of his eyeballs and cocaine into the other. Next to that, Rivasholian radio personality Guillaume Bevy stands in front of a rundown drug den. He's a permanent fixture on Channel 8, reporting on real life crime and ruining cops' days. I really must insist you buy one of the books. Reading them is not for free. Do still browse, though. I'm sorry, I did not mean to rush you. You are browsing. Go ahead. Take your time. Time is commerce. Drugs straight into the eyeballs. Well said, always be clothing. Uh, going to make a joke advocating for that, but I don't want to overdo it and have people take it seriously. Okay, brochure. These shelves are overburdened with books from the same series. You see oh, fiction. crime, robberies, murders, even sexual crimes. We're fortunate to have Dick Mullen and his... You're a, a police officer, apparently. You should buy all of these. They <laughs> really do teach a person how to be a proper detective. Crime fiction is a disgrace. An asinine misrepresentation of the physical attributes of the arduous everyday work of actual police officers. These books greatly overstate the excitement of police work, glossing over how long it takes to actually follow up on leads and eliminate dead ends. What's more, they completely ignore the psychological hardships of year after year coming into contact with people during the worst days of their lives. Not a single mention of all the stress this work creates upon the officer's family. Detective fiction just doesn't tell the truth at all. Now, would you like a list of all the books found on the shelf? Sure you see, Dick Mullen on the job. Get me Mullen. The stalwart adventures. A killing is declared. Dick Mullen in the murder house. Oh, the guys? Turns out he faked it to solve a case. Are there any yes. More? There's all tragedy calls. We're for not going to hear these holes to death. Another one with there's... fake death. And, of course, after all this, you still haven't found the answer to the one question that matters. <laughs> Who is Dick Mullen? Who is Dick Mullen? Your attempt to grasp at the answer fails. It seems very lightning close checks by. Checks have not been very good lately. That's fine. Oh, let's try going in here. Can we go in your back room? You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtain. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. Uh, and they're in the strange cage. You see some kind of charm, an irregular polyhedron assembled from bones, sticks, and straw. Mm -hmm. Inside, a disturbing fish head with empty eye it sockets stares. Important. This is a traditional Seminese ward. Meant to provide protection against oh, ill luck, bad dream. Inhabitants of Il de Fantôme, the Seminine I aside from poking at it suspiciously. What's behind the there curtains? Nothing. Now please go back to browsing the books. Don't you feel compelled to look at the books? 
She speaks almost as if she's trying to put a spell on you, urging you to buy more books. Oddly enough, the more she tries to draw you away from the curtains, the more alluring they become. I ignore the curtains for now. Look at your curtains, lady. The display rack is brimming with worn paperbacks featuring an extremely muscular, sword-wielding barbarian on the cover. Nearly all the titles contain the word Hyundal somewhere. Uh, oh, muscle man books. Man from Hyundal. A very popular series of adventure novels. They're awfully immoral and violent books. Blood and violence, scantily clad women, epic narratives, all those mystical things he encounters. They're bound to grab those with little imagination and nothing to do. What does it matter? They're all the same. However, the if you're a novice of the series, I'd recommend Hjelm Dalaman, the man from Hjelm Dal. It's supposed to be a good introduction to the series. Rows and rows of Hjelm Dalaman blur your vision. You make out some titles. Man from Hjelm Dal and the Mammoth Riders. Man from Hjelm Dal, Return to Hjelm Dal. And maybe the saying, open the curtains. Man from Hjelmdal and the sages at the end of the world. Man from Hjelmdal, not okay. even close. Man from Hjelmdal in Any hell. Man from here, nothing of interest. Right, Only look. silence and. Uh, thanks for me look at your bookstore. I don't have any money, so can't afford anything. Hey kid. Hello, oh, doesn't treat you well. Alright, bye. Okay, let's get some smelling salts. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Cupris Kinema motor carriage. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Um... Uh, hey. The a metallic drawer slides out from under the seat. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? Work is work. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like... Want the chain cutter. The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap, go the cutter. The pry bar feels nice and cold. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. It's robust, weatherproof, Sorry, dude, and well made. Let's you see things. The pull-out toolbox is like a frequency radio. lights up, and a the soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves, car. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st precinct here. I'm putting him on. Um. This is Officer Alice Demetri, precinct 57. How may I assist you? I'm gonna say connect me to a civilian. Of course. What is her number, Officer? Did Gart give you her yes. number? Yes. Hold on. Her number is... 005-1944-298 Are Fabio books a real thing? They must be, right? Is that how we got famous being on the cover of romance novels? Hold on, officer. I want to read a book with Fabio on the cover. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Just wait. Relax. Officer, I have 
Sylvie Malaika aan de lijn van je. Ja, yeah, hallo. Uh, oh, right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? I know before. You can hear resentment in her tone. She's not thrilled to be talking to you again. Uh, was it you who called the police? No, not me. You know who made the call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. Why didn't you call? What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the Union already knew about the court. What does the Union have to do with anything? No one calls the police. The Union would get angry. What do you mean by you that? You know, what the Union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Garbage. What? Doesn't seem bad. Uh, I mean, you know. Um... Hey Kim, she's seeing the truth? The union is the law around here? Legally, no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the dock workers union. Words are not necessary to feel the lieutenant's discontent for the situation. Um, I'm gonna back off. I don't know what to tell you, officer. I didn't call you because I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Don't worry about it. Yeah, go on. Quit your job, why? You mean, why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm... not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Um, I won't push back. Maybe, I don't know. I just know I have to take some time off right now. Got everything I need, thanks. I do hope so. Please, don't call me again. Listen, Bye. Day. No. She doesn't have a problem with you. It must be someone else she's angry about. Trust me, you wouldn't want to be the guy here. You know how it is. No, you're the guy. You're Lieutenant Love, matchmaker extraordinaire. Help the poor girl out. Let what misogyny? I'm just telling things the way they are. Can't you have to act, Lieutenant Love. You have to calm that hysteric down. Tell it you've got everything under control. Think you can do that, Lieutenant Love? You're just a gimp. What? Call was terminated by the other party. Anything else, officer? Uh, can you connect me to the precinct? Just a second, officer. Like, I feel like they're pushing very hard for me to want to be, like, disgusting towards women. 10 to 10 five. This is 41st uh, coming over. A scrawny that old wasn't even man choosing sits stuff in a dusty and I still cubicle, to to it, you know what smoking, I mean? with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box-shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio switchboard. The man uses relay code. You got this. You're a cop, and cops know. 10-4, message received. 10-5, relay message. What's your status? Over. 10-18, state your message, sir. I need to my badge missing. 10-9, over. 10-4, message received. This is a very serious situation. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs you. What? He lost his badge? Who nothing. lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? Okay. It's no. Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name. Defend yourself. Immediately. They're laughing at you. Can we just move on? 10 for I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to- What's going on? Supercop here lost his badge. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. The nine come again. I didn't get that. Over. New Heights even- Ask him. 
Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your gun too. Over. Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? Oops. Okay, it's gone. Your gun is most definitely gone. Ten nine, coming officer. You get my question? We uh, were wondering. Ten one, you're breaking up. Ten nine, ten nine, coming officer. Over. I want to convince somebody to lose my gun. I lost my gun. You know what I mean? Coming officer, ten nine. Just say you lost your gun. That's Anything else would only make the situation worse here. He says he doesn't have it. Dear God, he lost his gun. This isn't really a laughing matter. Mac can face a giant of cocoa noodle by himself. <laughs> I'm sure certain in. stats do <laughs> make it so you aren't as like horny or whatever. But I didn't like choose the horny stat. You know what I mean? Like I chose like empathetic and intelligent. Um. Told to say like fine whatever, but they wrote that in either way, right? And that's <laughs> oh, the point. I, I can't. I'm trying to like people he always argue it. like, well, it's part of the lore, it's part of this, part of that. They wrote it in here. here. <laughs> oh man, so that's an intentional choice with the game makers. And like I do think there is like a discussion to be had of like, you know, Lolita. I think is a really beautifully written book. It is by somebody who dealt with like child sexual abuse, whatever. Uh, but a lot of people interpret it as like a romance novel, which is sort of an issue with the audience, right? I'm not going to. And I think I overall don't trust gaming audiences to have a nuanced conversation about these sort of issues. And when your gaming audience is already pretty racist and pretty sexist, I think to have racism and sexism so prominently in your game and you, where you can really lean into it, and I think in many ways the game encourages you to lean into it, um, I don't... To be honest, I don't think a lot of gaming audiences... Like, I think it perpetuates issues that are already present. But that's not to say I don't think games can or shouldn't explore that. I just think it's not necessarily what I want to come to with my games, and I truly don't trust the audience to not see it as it being in support of those things. You know? When I'm in a gaming sphere, there's already so much subtle or overt racism and sexism, both from the audience and from the games themselves, that, like... I think a game really has to do a good job when they're talking about it, and I think to have it be subtle where your character is racist or sexist, or it comes up without even making those choices, I think that that is a much different thing than, say, I'm going down. I don't know. Like, I think that in Baldur's Gate 3, there's lots of options for people to go down, like a Dark Urges path, which is horny, but it's not necessarily sexist. And there's certain sort of racism between, like, the races in the game, and I think that explores kind of racism in real life too, but it doesn't feel as, like, pointed from your character in a way that it is in this game, where it's like, I just have to sit here and read all this sexist shit. Um, that I have to actively fight against the game to not choose. You know what I mean? Anyway. Um, what? Lost my wiener too, just lay off, okay? I'm gonna say... Yeah, I lost my winner too. I think that's funny. He acknowledges your joke and asks you to lay off. Lay off? Lay off? Tell him we'll lay off when he retreats the goddamn police property that he has been entrusted with. Satellite officer. Uh, I heard him and I'm on it. Then for affirmative, officer is in pursuit of his firearm. Oh god, I. Officer, do you need further assistance? Over. I do need financial assistance, but... Um, so say, transfer completed. Ten, ten. Over, and as a trash person, inherently, your choices are limited. Sure. But I guess also, to like... The south, in the 41st precinct I don't know. Relay booth. People love this game. I'm early enough on. I think that there is, like, a conversation to be had where some could say, like, whatever. Cops. It's anti-racist and anti-sexist by sort of showing that this person is making bad choices. I also think it's a video game and when you yourself are making those choices and the game is often encouraging to make those choices, people like playing as bad characters, right? And that's fun. And, and that's part of why you come to video games. Short. And I think there is a certain encouragement of it. You know? 
What is going on? And here? I also think most Did importantly here in this conversation, me as a woman, me as a queer person, I don't necessarily want to hear queer slurs, bleeped out or not. I don't want to have to deal with fighting against my character wanting to be sexist in the game I'm playing, let alone all the racism too, you know? Like, it's exhausting. And like, I still have to hear it and deal with it and know that there are people out there who are like that, and that's not why I come to the escapism of video games. And I don't think it is making people less sexist or racist if they're coming into it already sexist and racist. I think it encourages it. What happened? I think it gives them talking points, contact. too. It's not good. He's lost his badge and his sidearm. He seemed confused, delirious even. Mac, the torso Torson, is finger-fucking his fist, laughing hoarsely and apparently telling some dirty- Yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. Yeah, Max right. That was some gnarly- Enough! None of this is funny. It's fucking sad. That's what it is. He's a cop. He's one of us, goddamn this. We must help him. I know this game is not for everyone, but people are engaging with the conversation, so I'm having the conversation too. Yeah? You know? How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on car juice? He's a lost man. I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Those were his words. This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain. Or anyone right, I'm else. Pulling my shit together. We'll give him a couple of days to pull his shit together. I guess I can hold up the report for a few you days. You guys tell me my name, by the way. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all got our laughs. Now get back to work. Let's try to but no, I know. Farm North. On the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. And I do think it, like, I have played, or I've read books and I've consumed media where the main characters are unpleasant or whatever, and I think that it's also just a different medium where you are making the choices. And I think it's also different when you're going to a game and the world explores racist themes versus you are forced or encouraged into racist and sexist choices by your character that you're playing, you know? Um, I don't know what these do, so I'm just gonna close the door. I want to look at my things. I've got tools now. Good. How do I get more points to my character? Getting there on these. Oh, wait, level up? I want my tie. Level it. One day. I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. Keep listening. From another planet. Hey there. It's the oh, jam, man. my man. It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating. An all around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon days. Um. Limbo, huh? So that's where I am. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's official. He too agrees. This is the antechamber of the afterlife. How long you been here? Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout, and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes and mazout. Um, stop giving like phrase. I don't quite understand what you said. I'm gonna run about, though I do. Tires, 
paying the second yeah. with it. Imagine. It's been a whole week already. Behind the laugh, however, a touch of sorrow. So tell me, what do you need? Um do we know about the dead man? He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. I've been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. In your conclusion? A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Uh, talk about the strike. It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands. No way in or out. Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. Like, a strike negotiator type. They'd know what's up. Ah, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. Um, what do you think the company they wants? They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. ka -ching. He doesn't blame them. But he's not on their side. Anything else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. Us lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high. Or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Time to arrest him. Oh, this is a joke. Relax. He's merely okay. joking. Uh, wicked. I've always wanted a friend in the underworld. Ha, no, I'm joking, my man. Fowl runs a nice, clean business. This haul of cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. They usually get shipped to Grad and the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. Oh, could I get one of those suits you're hauling? <laughs> We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand right, out the enough. merchandise. Uh, the boss is rocking beauty. Sure is. Like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy duty cargo machinery? A motor lorry, also called a camion, on Caillou and neighboring islands. Rocket French. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of found rust bucket. Maybe the A6? Good eye, my man. Yup, she's an old one, but reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. There it is again. A little touch of sadness beneath his cool. He thinks he's spent too long in this lorry. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Try some empathy. In his eyes, Ooh. an our familiar longing. Flecks of brown and gold. It's hard to say. His gaze wanders southwest, down the street that goes beyond the horizon. Excuse me. Hell, I get longing. Man, I don't know what to say. Not much anyone can do. There's no helping in absence, you know. I miss my family. They're all I have. Weed. My wife. Second kid on the way, waiting all the way in Diora. And here I am stuck in this shit, so far from home. Uh, what's it like to miss? What's it like? Good. And bad. An ache that brings you joy. I think of them a lot. I dream up these silly scenarios in great detail of living with them. It comforts me. <sighs> what about you, cop man? You missing someone? Is that what it is? This feeling? No, it's scarier than that. You're pursued by a hunter, smelling of apricots and sorrow, and the past. I miss someone I don't know who it is. I feel for you, my friend. It's bad enough to know who you miss. Missing like that doesn't feel like it has much of an upside. But, thanks for this. It's nice to talk to someone, and I know it wasn't easy to ask. I hope you find your way through your I own I think troubles. empathy's a fun one to do. Let's shake this man's hand. Don't be a stranger. Now. See you later, dude. Good luck with the haul. 
Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I mean, I need to go take that body down, but I'm not against walking over here and seeing what's what. stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's being reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air, with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip the Third, yeah, the squanderer, the, looks the greatest of the Philippian kings of Revachol, son the of Philip the Second, the opulent, not a good track record of mental health in that family. Even by the standards of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philip, well, he blew through the whole national treasury, starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution. Stories have it that he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth. Krugerrand, he called it the Sol Auron. It was obscene. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold-dipped feathers, like some obese dragon, instead of a bed like a normal person. There's no way that's true. But wait, you haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. What now? You see, old Philippe wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury, on gold and ceremonial weaponry, he was also a prodigious snorter of nose candy. His process. Majesty's courtiers said it helped him connect with the higher realms Where's beneath the cold waters of the Insulindian Bay, thrown there by the revolutionaries after they cleaned out the royal mausoleum. The original was blown apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's airships during the turn of the century revolution, when Martinez was leveled. Most historians think the coalition's hasty landing may have ultimately saved the statue. If the communards had more time, they would have reduced it up to even finer pieces. Some years ago, a group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, thought it would be ironic to restore the statue of the most wasteful ruler of Revachol in the poorest part of the city. The statue is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time, a rare butterfly trapped in amber, floating on a sea of shit. Um... I'm going to say, funny and nihilistic, People in Martinez tend to disagree, as do many prominent art critics and thought leaders, with more nuanced social awareness than the young I Philip III, the right, squanderer, how, not that he ever did in life. Anyway, what I will say about this game is it does create a dialogue, which I do like in games. Um, I also think I wouldn't mind... Or take... I don't know if I would mind, I mean, I would mind the misogynist success, but, blue spot, but it's like, I don't, I'm, I'm curious, uh, all the women, like, are, do they have cool women characters in this game? It seems like a lot of the, the people with sort of- wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods well, along to something well, on her works. radio. You know? A photograph is clutched in her hands, and there is a warm smile on her face. I'm too early to know. The photo, an the ambrotype gardener. from the turn of the century, as golden as her smile. It's the warmth of a winter night's fire. Maybe she could give you comfort and shelter, some cigarettes and food money. Maybe she's your... No response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. Right, well, I'll leave her as is. Anyway. I'm also, you know, not, not enjoying this game. 
I think having the voiceover makes it much better. Because there's so much reading, I think, the first time I went to play this, before there was the voiceover stuff. These dudes. Don't you welcome to Revachol me? Every school of thought and government has failed. It's man like what he means is fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self determination. Oh, come on, man. I know exactly, but you see. Silence. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Whatever you say. You could ask him to show you the soles of his boots. He definitely looks like someone capable of a lynching. Um, Maybe he was present. Hmm. Good idea. Been admiring the stompers, huh? Sure. On the bottom of the man's boots, you see an intricate tangle of treads with no immediately. It's Revachol. Right? Your boots like that. Custom made. Cost me a pretty bit for when the invasion comes. The last thing they'll see before the lights go out is it. It doesn't look like the lieutenant cares. He just makes a little note. Um. This invasion anyway? Hey man, you know, there are all sorts of invasions. I thought we could rely on the cops. We're in this together. Whether you realize it or not. Are you hauling? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. The couple of subconscious personalities press you to be gross, but don't recall any pressing you not to. That's another great point. Um, I'm going to say, how long has this been going on? The strike? Not a bit. Kind of cargo. Apples. Apples. It's exactly the kind of thing you'd apples. say. Apples? Yeah, apples. Alright, okay, we're done for now. Get up here? Anyway, again. I don't hate the game. I didn't think I hated the first time. I openly admitted that I didn't think it was for me. And now the I think I, stands one, the, the voiceover helps, sign says two, I've been really enjoying fully cents. narrative games lately. I think Baldur's Gate is helping me into this one more. Hmm? What's this machine? Oh. What is it's, it? Um, you need to feel free to use it. If anyway, I want a bag. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine I bottles, also think nasal sprays, and I'm gonna keep it real with you. They all I think if a game has a lot of racist logo. and sexist themes, whether they're exploring them or not, and then their the audience is, is the yelling at a woman for saying, um, yeah, you know, I don't know if I love how this went, Saint Batiste, uh, and then they all yell at her, notes, I would say the game is not doing what it should be doing. Maybe that's just me, but if you're trying to make a commentary, the game is... Failing in some ways. <sighs> First big chunk was mostly a downer. Um, I'm gonna respond. Actually, you know what? I'll take a little break. I want to refresh my water. Whatever. I am enjoying the conversation. I hope everyone is also enjoying it. I don't mean to make this like an uncomfortable political thing or make people feel bad about liking this game. I'm here for it. I know, chat is cool during the discussion. I do think straight up gaming audiences are dumb as fuck, which is also why I'm like, in a video game, I simply don't trust it. I simply don't trust it. But anyway, I'm gonna take a two minute break. I will see you in a moment.
I'm back! Did I scare ya? I had to unmute my mic, so I did say I'm back twice. <sighs> I think that the interesting thing about games, I think this is really all art forms, though, is there's, like, high art and low art, right? There's art that, like, wants to say something, is potentially pushing the genre, and then there's low art that's like, this is fun, like, I think that it's still, you can have a smart commentary about it, but it's more designed to be silly and fun. That's like reality TV, that's like pulpy novels, that's like a clicker game or something. I think both have equal value, genuinely, um, and I think it's a spectrum as well. But I think that video games also have high art and low art, you know? I think they're definitely games that are trying to do something different, trying to say something different, than they're games that are like... We just want you to have fun. Let's play Call of Duty. Okay. So... I don't need these. Um, but... Who is Saint Baptiste? Saint Baptiste. You know. Baptiste. The pharmaceuticals company. Oh, uh -huh. Saint Baptiste. Sure. Pharmaceuticals. The one that sells meds out of Saint Baptiste. That one. She is right. Saint Baptiste, the company, derives its name from Saint Baptiste, the city. Itself so named because that's what it is, a rare case where that really is the full etymological history, as far as almost anyone knows, at least. Did I do the voice for this lady? I freaking wish. Saint Baptiste, I'm British, but like a Northern British. I'm not very good at Northern British. What do you moan Yeah, there's like an ampule somewhere. What? Um, I don't know. Let's, I don't really know what Hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying, or exercising. Um, I say thank you for explaining. Uh-huh. Wait, what's... Hypnogamna. For morale. Hoping it'd help with my hangover. Ooh, I'd like to buy some money. Okay, don't, like overdo it or something all right i feel like we probably didn't have to buy ammonia we probably could have gotten it from our friend the gardener talk to her too but really thought i was reading that that'd be fun three t's how idiomatic oh yeah we didn't really talk to her about door like we did last time so we can talk to her question her welcome to frit what's that magazine she's reading um uh, that's who cares um what is this frit I don't know. Frit? Why is there I think they... The story goes. Okay, that I have some questions um, for you. Okay. Um, about the dead body? I don't really know anything. Not died. really. Um, no. How long I don't been know. There? Really. What do you um, think happened? No need to worry. Okay. Thanks for uh -huh. your help. Tell me anything about this. Oh nope. We're not gonna do that one. That's a loco question. We're trying to seem unloco. Okay, so we talked to that racist guy. Let's go talk to the gardener and let's try to get this body down. Stick with what we know. Ooh! I can level stuff up! Okay, I kind of want to level this one up. All my motors are quite low. I'm like, let's level this bad boy up. Sick. And now maybe we can get our tie. Pretty exciting. Hmm. Did I... We're getting there. What's up, friend? Hello again, officer. Later. Maybe because I bought the ammonia, we can't ask. Oop, you're riding and walking. He's magic! He's magic! What's happening? He's a magician! I think truly the best art is one that you talk about. Like, I really did not like Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, but it led to a lot of great discussions. So I'm grateful for that reason. The bed is cold and not particularly. The option to go to sleep becomes available every night after 9 p.m. Thank you, robot. Can I try again on my tie? This fan has two or 
Has it been consigned that you swoop up with Woo! just what you have in your hand? I got a tie, bitch. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, we're reading Raw Dog for September. Book club is happening Wednesday. I'm still finishing the book, which is why I haven't talked about the book club. And then for October, because it's spooky Halloween, we're going to read Woman Eating, which is a vampire book. Um, we are also going to take some time off in the holiday months and get started again in January. So stay tuned for that. If I were to finish Citizen Sleeper, but that lives too much hype for me. Hmm, cool. I've never heard of that one. Okay. How do I own you this thing? Don't know. Reading Raw Dog is a little too real relative to the cross country road trip I took in late 2021 at the height of the pandemic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I bet. I was reading it as a book, and then about halfway through, I switched to audiobook. And I've been enjoying it a lot more as an audiobook. Um, I think just nonfiction sometimes is a little hard. And Jamie does a good job of reading the audiobook there, part. There, he still is, looking Have right pneumonia. through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated still to that low. corpse. Oops. Can you? Okay, turn away. Um. In. and flashlight. Oh no. Well, that's cool. Look at that. Okay. Um. There he still is, looking right through. All right. With his white eyes. Shall we do another prediction? I'm gonna try again. Entirely dedicated. I might just keep yakking. It's very possible. Emitting it is all it does now. I feel like I need to up my endurance or something. Up Kronk or whatever your name is. Fuck this coon, okay? Um. Throw up and I can't investigate the yeah, body now. Like a fucking volcano. You're lucky you didn't die there. Um. Maybe you got some advice for me? Yeah. Kuno's got some advice for you. What are you? <laughs> like 80, right? Maybe you should. Mm. Perhaps you could compress this negative energy and turn it into some sort of a Kuno-fied non-vomiter. Kuno-fied non-vomiter, here right. it comes. That's Turn your weaknesses into conceptual strengths. Try okay. it again. The fuck about it? Your test- oh, no. Get lost, f Yeah? Questions. The kingdom Ladder. of Kuno? Have the fuck- Look at that fucking shit! You're trying to get Kuno killed? They do have a kid. Unclimbable. Fuck does Kuno know? Because there's Kuno's a light a foot. Acrobat. Somebody had to be light footed to, I'm guessing, climb the ladder. The lieutenant takes a quick note in his. It's a trap, Kuno! Don't climb it, Kuno! What's in the greenhouse? Don't know. Keep that. Kipped is a pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Eri Oppergeit descent. It used to be a common first name among the Eri Oppergeits of Ilmara. Not so much. Okay, I don't know. I want to believe. We'll get to the throwing up in a moment here. We're just going to talk to Kuno. Hold on, the gardener used to work there? Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. Shit's nothing to Kuno. Uh, young Look, woman? Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says. Yeah, her. Okay, um. Stack of Eternite. That's just some shit roofing gimps left behind. There it is. That strange feeling again. As if there was more than meets the eye about that pile of roofing material. Um. Can't hide it. I see without visual in her eyes. Don't I have a single normal thing to say? We are way beyond normal already. We are in the star chamber. My father. Are you having a seizure in Kuno's yard now? 
Um, I'm gonna say I saw past the, the veil. The fucking well. The fuck are you talking about? They're trying to make you feel. You glance again at the roofing material in front. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Kuno and doesn't. I'm off. Um, I do feel like woman or child. I have to put this up here. One small, I guess. All right, let's see if we're gonna barf. There, he still is, looking right through you okay. with his white I'm eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated Ready? Here to we that go. corpse smell. You crack open the Boom. and breathe Woo! in. The odor of we did death it. is still stronger. It's a spell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty. With your eyes squinting, you stand in it. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying Boggers. veins and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The, the, the material boots. appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers of them. The foots, feet, Delicate feet. and fragile. They feel alien to the world around you. Out of place That's somehow. Them. These are clearly not boots. They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. Okay, they're not just boots, they're armor. Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Sabaton. Of armor is Ceramic sniper. plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Under the hill. Fair weather. Fair weather model T500 VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. Um, what happened to the rest of it? The locals probably scavenged it. It would be odd if he had more on after seven days. We should keep a look up for these pieces. The armor could yield information. I think he was walking Maybe and the armor was adding so much weight. Maybe he was just wearing his boots. No, the armor. he must have worn something precious underneath his clothes. They've removed all his clothes to get to it. They did not just strip him for the putrid rags. Um, but they told him to strip before they hung him to demean him. They usually hang them completely naked for that. Hmm. La puta madre. The Mazda, the Besmerty, and the like. This one still has his underpants. <laughs> Fucking talking about underpants. Kuno, get out of here. Clearly, Kuno would like to interject something here, but there's not enough for him to hold on to. Uh, material looks out of place. It is. It's expensive. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabularies deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. How much are we talking? For a full set, about four years of wages. For the northwest region of Revachol, an officer's average yearly income is 5,500 real, unadjusted for rank. Um... Say... That's a lot, I take it? As a wage, it's regrettably small. But for a piece of hardware, Yes, that's a lot. How could he afford such expensive hardware? That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the Harbour Company. But that's just hearsay. They look pretty advanced for a security guard. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. Okay, knock on the booth. A small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally from plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. See? Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates until there are hundreds of them altogether, like whirls of floorboards. The design looks organic, influenced by highly resistant wood materials like lignum vitae and ebony perhaps. If trees were made of porcelain, this is what their cross sections would look like. The smooth, glossy surface fractures into ever more intricate interconnections, peaking on the right sabaton, where you notice. The whirls are in the shape of a letter and number combination, 
E50-100-1000. Like a serial number. Good. Can you read it to me? We have a make and a number. That's something. We can use the radio in my kinema when we're done. Either station can chase it for us. This feels dangerous. Are you sure? Hmm. Let's give it a try. Try to put it under my arm. The stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, an ominous creaking sound comes from above. Stop! Uh oh. Pig's gonna pull his head off. Uh oh. Right so. Go on the boat. What's wrong with you, asshole? Why is he letting Goku know? I don't know, baby. I don't know why he's such a Officer, if I may ask, what were you trying to achieve by putting on the deceased foot? Sorry. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. His torso covered in the hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. This is a steel reinforced cargo lashing belt, big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo under six rotor airships. Airlifting. I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. Um, we're assuming doctors from the harbor did it. They sure wanted him to stay up there. The rope is reinforced with steering wire. Um, we're going to stay up I there. I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. Okay, and we're assuming dock workers from the harbor did it? The brief suggested as much. Politically motivated by the ongoing strike. Did you not get a briefing? Um, they... Think, okay. They might have forgotten a briefing. Then you should ask me the first moment we get. Okay, great. They even get a The news is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. What? It's easy to put it on and take it off, so he's saying. Climb up the kid's ladder. That ladder can't carry a grown man. I didn't see any splintering either, did you? I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt to close the buckle. Could be. Hmm. The shape of the branch supports the theory. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt. Okay, An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. His corpse is marked by stars. What will mine be Alcohol by? and heartbreak. The microelectronic system. I have only a cursive knowledge of the science of cybernetics. I would not know if it were. But it's not quite complex enough, is it? I agree. <laughs> he takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. Who done it work? Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. I have cool. only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound, a shrill flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper, rolling out. In case we need it. A cool machine? Yes. It is pretty cool, isn't it? It contains insight to the victim's person. By Great. his build, I'd say it was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. We need to show it around. Uh, can I have sure. Just don't lose it. The glassy-eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute and his skin as colorful as... You've acquired an interactable item. Great. Investigate this item further by going to the Interact tab item. in your inventory. Right. It's skill points from solution. 
Okay, no solution here. Interesting. Anything else I can think about? Look him in the eye. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. There is no one home, just sub-aquatic terrors there. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Underneath the curdled meat there is an expression, not carried on his features, but below, inside. An expression of pleasure. This man was experiencing joy at the moment of his death. Uh... Yeah. Enjoyed the moment. Of Why do you think so? Intuition. Okay. I'm gone. Why did you feel pleasure with Maybe that? I was getting my rocks off. Dialect. It's a mishmash, Coppa Bolo. You think I'm Messinian, don't you? For you, this is how people from Messina speak like. No, my hair is too light a shade of brown. My eyebrows too. Trust your inner racist. You think I am. You think I was a racist because this lump looks military and has tattoos. That's called profiling. Feeling sexual arousal? Do I look like an erotic auto asphyxiation? Captain Copadromo. I feel we are. He didn't choke himself. You know it. Uh, where have you gone? Into the wild. In the past. Way out in the. Who I'm a you? joke. Look at me. There is nothing funny about jokes, either. I'm gonna disagree with that one, but... A killer. A motherfucker. A Go ahead, Copa. What thing. do you mean? It's the power of your... You mad... Yeah, man! Don't be crazy! Inanimate objects and dead people can't really talk to you! Your wild imagination right, is so doing I'm... this. Ask some more Cracking. of those questions you love so much. He loves those. I Come back this. later, Corpo. Amuse yourself with my frank manner. Take a step back. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post-mortem. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death match the discoloration? Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears okay. dark green in the cold spring air. So I would say he died by hanging. I see it. His neck too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. Hello, Aurora Bees. The monster comes back into focus. An explosion of color, coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. So, what do you think? I think he was upright after death. His hands, feet, neck are discolored. Agreed. Especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports her hanging. Could still be he was moved after? There's always a chance. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. Something's coming out of him. A pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below the man's feet. Purge liquid is dripping into it, drop by drop. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. The fuck are you saying? Oh, 
Talking about shit. Um, Dewey got lucky. Did we? I don't feel lucky. Well, he's beaten up. See the bruises? I do. Most of them are post mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little sport. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. He means you fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal like. Okay. But there is no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. Are, Are you down? sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? The cadaver slowly twists. Of course. You have questions, don't you? Uh, Come back later. Co yep. Hmm. That's good. The steel reinforced belt presents a unique challenge. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. I do. I feel like... Um... I seem to get a lot. Hunches and guts feelings. I feel like I'll do this one. Oh, we're pretty high up on Psyche as it is. Makes me want to get like these down. I like perception. Let's do that. Oh, I have three points? Oh. Alright, well. No. Oh, I see. That's in total. Okay. I see. I see. Alright. It on the map. Okay. He doesn't Neo. actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. Um. Someone else do it? We could. Saw the branch. And ask for help from the harbor. It saw Climb the branch. up there and saw the branch? Yeah, seems dangerous. There has to be a less risky way. With less falling down of trees. Um, we can ask for help from the harbor. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. Yeah, but what specific. other options? The corpse twists on the belt, like chicken on a skewer. Okay. Someone else? You mean like the police? No point there. Sadly, yes. The whole RCM is out there right now, doing the exact same thing we are. Are we in a rush to help them? Not with this. I know it's hard, but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern here. We need to get him down. Hmm. Guillaume Le Million. Oh, I see. Bad news. Guillaume Le Million did not become a cop. In 38, he went on a tour to the Xinyao province in Safre, where he died of auto-erotic asphyxiation. His body was found hanging from a decorative dragon tree in his what junior suite amid drug paraphernalia, unwholesome objects, and the Sylvia Trainer single, Wonderland, skipping in the background. And yes, you can take this as a metaphor for Revachol in the 30s, and also as a warning. Okay. Cool. That's our pain threshold. Great. Forget it though. Is this bad thing? Learning caps raised by one? No, I think it's good. Putting the body down. What is this thing? I use what's in my hands. Kuno care? Kuno doesn't. Huh. Well, let's do a quick save. We'll think on how to get this guy down. Who are these children to come up and do it? All 
right, you know, I think that might be where we call it for today. I'll have to save the game this time, thank goodness. All right, we'll find someone to raid. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I'm really enjoying this game. We will be playing more tomorrow, I'm, I'm thinking. Sort of Shh. Twitch. All right. Why don't we raid 8-Bit Dylan? See y'all over there. Goodbye, gamers. Goodbye now. Bye. Thank you, mods. Thank you, friends. Bye.